Greetings gearheads. Chuck Fast back at you again. Just had a couple things to say since my last video. Uh, some of you flamers that are on there, you want to bust my ass about uh, uh, accusing me of taking advantage of a situation or something, but hey, guys, I'm just reporting the, the news and the rumors to social media for Gearheads World like any other e-magazine or whatever would do out there on the net, that's all. But anyway, in my last vid, uh, I talked about uh, Big Chief and speculated about what kind of a, a car he might come back with. Anybody who's watching this knows what happened to Big Chief. Uh, you've seen the pics. I'll throw them up there for you. And uh, matter of fact, I've enhanced the pictures that are floating around out there so you guys can see a little more detail. So if you want to pause this and check it out, there's a little bit more that you can see there. Okay, so the short story is that Big Chief and Chucky got in a wreck, they totaled out their cars, sent themselves to the hospital while on set filming for next season. And so the speculation has been where will they go from here? Because we're not really going to know until we see it next season. My feeling was that uh, Big Chief would want to keep it all Pontiac, judging from some of the things he's been saying. And uh, But the question is what will he go with next? Because he cannot bring back the love of his life. That beautiful GTO judge that is no longer with us. Which Big Chief has stated weighs around 3,200 pounds in his uh, interview. So I speculated through the uh, comments and discussions in my vid that he uh, might step into a lighter car like a first gen Firebird. So now I must ask might he have been listening in? So over at Hot Rod Magazine, they've got a picture, and it's a first-gen Firebird. They've been talking about some GTO uh, on eBay, and they've shown us a picture of what sure looks like a 68 Firebird Pro Mod car. Oh, it looks nothing like the, the Firebirds that I raced back in the day, because there, there was no such thing as Pro Mod back then. But... Uh, we would infer from what they have quoted Big Chief as saying is that he wants to step into a lighter and faster car in order to dominate. Now here's a question I might throw it at you gearheads. We've seen a lighter faster car go out there and wreck already, right? Daddy Dave and the Goliath so how much safer will it be to step into pro mod type of car when you're out there racing on the mean streets? What do you think? Throw a comment down on that one. It kind of parallels my life some 25-30 years ago when I started street racing in a GTO and moved into a Firebird so it's cool to sit here and watch this happen on TV in a much more glamorous fashion than it was for us back then. So what's the trade-off guys? Some might think that the heavier more solid car might provide a more solid foundation down track when you're racing on those mean streets with the traction that you have available. I don't know, what do you think? I'm throwing up some pics up here so that you guys don't have to stare at my face because God knows we don't need that of some of the cars that we were racing back in the day. Now, back then nobody carried cameras around and for sure there was no video cameras. So there's very little for us to show you from back when we were doing this and we kind of laid the foundation for what you watch on the television now. I have to admit that I get a kick out of it after having gone down a similar road just a much longer time ago. I uh, The memories that I have from my nights of street racing back then are, I have to say, are the best, the best ones that I have, despite whatever anyone else may say about that pastime. That's the way it is for me anyway. The thrill of the hunt was 
pretty exciting. Yeah, my guess is that there's a lot of older gearheads that are watching this show. I know I never hear a comment or a like from any of my friends who were even there back then, but I suspect many of them are watching this show, and there are plenty of stories to be told that certainly have not been told. But there's no time for that in this vid. Okay, let's get down to business. We know that the new car, whatever it may be, from what we're being told, it will be unveiled at the PRI trade show in the Weld booth. Now I might add, even Weld wheels, there's quite a story behind them. But it appears that uh, they're backing up the big chief and we're all going to find out soon just exactly what it is. So this guy's hoping that it will be a Firebird. Like I said, I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, so what else do we have here? Uh, maybe you've seen the interview I had with Kamikaze in my one of my other vids. 1320 has a vid of him out there doing some test hits somewhere out there on the street. Those pipes of his sound gnarly. We can see those flames shooting out the side. He bounces those wheels up real good. We can see he's not hooked up. But you can see it all over there on 1320. Yeah, you can see him getting squirrely there. And then later on, the cops come and visit him. But you can check it out over at Hot Rod or 1320 video. And those pipes sound pretty gnarly as they're shooting flames out the side of them. That is before the cops come and break that up. So you can see the full video over at 1320. One of the things that he says uh, about his engine. Uh, during my interview in my vid, we speculated on the size of his engine. Which... Kamikaze was reluctant to divulge, although he hinted that it might be smaller than what we were speculating. And so now, in the 1320 vid, if we were to believe what he says, it sounds like it's an old school, built up 454. Okay, in other news from my town, we have a, a street racing death here in Portland. We had a couple young street racers that were going at it, uh, I guess it was out on Stark Street this weekend, and um, an older lady turned left out onto the street and they both hit her and killed her. Uh, we don't know what kind of cars they were in or what the situation was or how it was that these guys came about racing uh, out there at something like 6 a.m. in the morning. So. I don't know. I mean, I will, I will just go so far as to say that back in the day when we used to race, none of us killed anybody. And uh, when we raced in town, light to light, we'd grab a couple gears, and that was it. That was enough for us to determine a winner, and we didn't have to hit high speeds and endanger other people. So, enough said on that subject, I guess. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out. So I'm checking my sources to find out just what it is that Big Chief is going to unveil over there at the PRI trade show. There's another trade show like SEMA. I've been to a few of them in the distant past. Stay tuned. What's it going to be, guys? We will know soon. Indeed, there are a lot of stories behind these picks that go beyond the TV. And I hope that in time we can get some of those stories out there. Gearheads World, which is over at Blogspot, has a tab on it, uh, Street Racing in Portland. And you'll find some of these picks over there and, and some of the stories of some of the racing that went on. Uh, back in the day around these parts. So hang in there and maybe in the future some of us OGs will be able to bust out a few of our stories here on vid.
for you all to enjoy.